Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe talk a little bit about kind of your mental approach and, and yeah. where it's come from and how and how you see those types of things and, and if you vibe with what I just said. Yeah, yeah, man, for sure. Um, yeah, a lot of that kind of stuff um, came from you know my upbringing. You know, I just constantly heard just keep on keeping on. You know, my grandmothers uh, on both sides of the family were just tough, mm. tough old ladies. You know. <laughs> And um, you know my paternal grandma is still alive. She's ninety nine. Wow. Um, outlived two husbands. You know, uh, my dad's dad died when they were kids, medical complications, and this was like in the sixties, fifties, sixties. So she's raising two boys. Mm -hmm. You know, without any real social network back at that time, there really was no social services. Yeah. So she had to make do. You know, and so and they're living on a farm and all that, so mm -hmm. she made do, mm -hmm. you know, and got through it, but her thing was always, you just keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm. You can't let your feet stop moving, yeah. you know, because nothing stops. Yeah. You know, there is no true resting place, right. so you gotta keep moving and just, and when things are going, you just gotta keep going with it. Just mm -hmm. keep saying yes, mm -hmm. keep saying yes, mm -hmm. keep taking the next opportunity, because if those opportunities stop, things get difficult. Right. And my grandmother on the other side of the family, um, they were Jewish German. You know, they're, uh, my mom's maiden name is Mensch, you know. And uh, it's a funny story about that. I just remembered um, a few days ago, I was standing in the kitchen. I was like, that bastard. I just remembered a slur that a guy had thrown at me when I was a little kid, you know, about uh, that name. Um, but so she came over, her and my, my mother's, Dad, they came over. Well, my mom's dad ended up dying when she was about seven um, from uh, tuberculosis, and then uh, my grandmother, because of the exposure back in those in that in that time in that day, mm -hmm. um, was placed in a sanatorium. Mm -hmm. So out in the mountains of Western Maryland, and so my mom was raised basically by family members, kind of shoveled around her and her siblings. Uh, from the time that she was about seven until she was 16 when they released my grandmother because they were like, oh, okay, well, it's been 10 years and you're not dead, so we probably don't have it. Wow. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow, that is rough. Back in the day, right? Jeez. So she was a tough, tough old lady, you know, and so it was a little spitfire, you know, mm -hmm. and um, so she very much raised me as well to, like, tough times come, mm -hmm. tough times don't win, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you just keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm. you, you never, ever stop moving. And that was very much her mentality as well. So it's kind of raising an environment of always keep moving, always yeah. look for the next thing, mm -hmm. you know, and as much as possible, bring others with you. Yeah. You know, don't just serve yourself. 